um, thou shalt not have, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And uh, like I said, if you put anything before God, uh, that's going to always be. That's going to stick. <laughs> you can't. You it, it put it away. That's gonna always stick. If you put anything in God's place, or you treasure anything in God's place, you ain't gonna make it in. <laughs> you you ain't. I don't. I don't care what. I don't care what you did. That still that law is still holy. That commandment is still holy. You you ain't gonna get around that. Uh, how y'all doing out there again? Freddy calls are checking in. Hope everything going well with everybody as always. Hope everybody's on the up and up. As I always say, uh, quick prayer. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Give me in my right mind. Give me all the ability of my limbs. And uh, I thank you, Father. And I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Go without him. Doing what he did on the cross for us, all of us, we wouldn't have the right to the tree of life to meet you one day, Lord. I just thank you, Father. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for all your mercies and your grace. And I ask, and I thank you in Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, today, um, one big thing I, you know, uh thank God for <laughs> we ain't under that same old covenant no more since Jesus Christ came on the scene uh, for the believers kind of going to be kind of talking about that today the believers will kind of understand it uh, about the law you know uh, that we really you know since Jesus came he really made everything better for us uh, but at the same time uh, as I'm going to read today, you know, the law, nothing was really wrong with the law. The law was holy. and uh, But uh, we just didn't have the power under that old covenant. You know, that's why Jesus came on the scene to give us power, you know, through faith. Uh, today, this is one of the normal common scriptures you hear about kind of what I was saying, that we ain't no longer under the law. Uh, you know, in book of Galatians, uh, Galatians, the third chapter, you know, a lot of people read it, but, uh, but I also want to go to Romans because it kind of came up to a point where, <coughs> watch, you know, he was kind of trying to get over to the people. Paul was trying to get over, you know, uh, just because, uh, you know, the grace of God came, they don't give you the right to still sin. And, uh, you know, uh, some people in today's the time, they do f feel, you know, since Jesus came on, say he'll for just he'll forgive me. You know, I'm I'm on the grace. But uh, but the law, you know, it as it reads in Galatians three. Um, uh, let me read. Well, I'm gonna read the twenty fourth verse three and twenty four. Wherefore the laws was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. So in other words, you know, we in our natural flesh, those of the old time, you know, couldn't make it. <coughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know that every year they had to keep going back uh, to give sacrifice for the sin. But uh, since Christ did it, and he he came and died once, and he shed his blood. You know that perfect sacrifice, so that we won't have to be dealing with that weight no more. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna read this to you uh, also uh, in Romans seven and seven. Uh, because a lot of people like that was kind of what's going on in the book, and even today, you know, uh, people feel that it is just can do anything, and Jesus will forgive them. But uh, but there's nothing wrong. Uh, as Paul, you gonna hit me read in Romans seven and seven. 
uh, which he had a lot of issues, but I ain't gonna try to try not to make this video so long. Uh, but what it reads in Romans 7 and 7, what shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. Uh, in other words, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to skip down and read um, uh, the 12th verse. Uh, I'm kind of skipping a lot, but wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and, just and good. So uh, I had this little the thing came to me. Uh, uh, like I said, you if you did the law perfect, it still wouldn't be enough, you know, to get you, you know, uh, you still got to believe in Christ. You know, a lot of people, a lot of back in the day, they was trying to, they, they went and sip kind of Christ in the book. And, uh, but you need Christ. You got to get over into grace. You can't just, you're not going to, fulfill I well I like into it is you know uh sometimes uh they just say uh like if you I know I did going back to school and you have certain tests uh but uh you don't score as high and uh you have to go back to remedial stuff and uh classes that really just didn't count towards a degree or something. I liken the law to that. You know, it's like, it's still good, you know, because uh, just like in the New Testament, you know, Jesus Jesus had summed up all the commandments in two, two, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and and so forth. And, you know, you love your neighbor as yourself. That that, that it does entail all the, the commandments, the Ten Commandments, because, you know, in the Ten Commandments, say don't have no. That was in the law. Don't have no other god before me. You know, and don't bear false witness against your neighbor, and all the other ones. You know, uh, that was a law, and it's still good. You know, even today, to do those, observe those things, which are all the law, they're still good because that goes over into the New Testament. You know, a lot. Uh, so uh, you just like in the natural. You know. If you didn't score so high, like in in man system, you know they'll put you in remedial courses, even though that's not going to count towards toward you know, your degree, you know, uh, or credit. But uh, it's still good to know them, and um, like I said, it's it's like it said it would be your schoolmaster or remedials, <laughs> you know, to get you to Christ, you know, because uh, you need those. Those basics, uh, I guess you can call the law basic things of knowledge that you need to still know, you know. Uh, but like I say, with, with when we on grace and faith, we know we can do it because Christ gave us power to overcome this flesh, you know, uh, to get the get salvation. You know, uh, that's what kind of came to my mind about the law. Of course, you know, like I said, those credits, those remedial credits, they're not going to necessarily account for them. But if you weaken something, they can still strengthen you, you know, going through things. So it'll take you to the next level, you know, to get to your that, that main credit that's going to count for that degree. Just like like I said, they, they it's not that they it's bad, you know, like the Paul said, he forbid that they, it's not bad. You know, uh, to know the law, like I said, but uh, it's still, it's good to know. You know, it helps. Or like I say, that remedial class probably will help you to get that main credit, you know, uh, <laughs> in, in, in to you know, get that main credit to <laughs> graduate with that degree in natural or, or even lower level school. So it's nothing wrong with knowing it or, how oh, well I'll say, but it, it it it's there, you know, as we go back, if you're not doing that, put it this way. If you're not doing practicing, you weren't practicing it, you know, if you're not loving God with all your heart and your strength or having I mean, it's good 
it's good. I hope I'm hope I'm making it make sense. But uh, like I say, it's still it's like remedial. You know, uh, it's like the law. If you did all the law, it's still not gonna be enough to get you to graduate or get you into heaven. Put it that way. You know, uh, I hope I hope I'm making it make sense. You know, uh, cause like I said back in this book, you know, if you read it, you know, some almost still doing stuff wrong <laughs> and feeling that they can still be forgiven. You know, uh, you know, uh, God will still, if whatever you do, you're going to eat a, the fruit of your own doing, whether it's bad or good, you're going to reap what you sow. So, uh, so that, and, um, pretty much, like I said, a, a law, as the, as the apostle Paul said, it is still holy or it, it is still good. Just like, classes in the natural is good for us help but uh like i said but it's not like a, a regular credit that's gonna get you to get you uh get to your degree put it that way it won't count for nothing but uh but the law i look at the law in that way the law is still good if you go back to exodus exodus uh didn't plan on looking at it but uh, I'm gonna go back to it. <laughs> Exodus, Exodus 20. Uh, give me just a minute. Uh, Exodus 20. Those things in Exodus 20 or the Ten Commandments is still good to do. Yeah. Uh. uh no, but the number one, like I said, uh, thou shalt not have, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And uh, like I said, if you put anything before God, uh, that's going to always be. That's going to stick. <laughs> you can't, you it, it put it away, that's going to always stick. If you put anything in God's place, or you treasure anything in God's place, you ain't gonna make it in. <laughs> you you ain't I don't I don't care what I don't care what you did. That's still that law is still holy. That commandment is still holy. You you ain't gonna get around that. Uh uh, thou shall make well what's another one? Uh what I told you the first time. The 16th verse 20 and 16, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, or his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. So in other words, in the New Testament, you know, if you love the Lord, love your neighbor as yourself, you ain't going to do that. So because you ain't going to feel right. You, you don't want nobody, <laughs> you know, to cover all what you got. You know, uh, if you love your neighbor, you're not gonna try to do things to have get what they got. You ain't, that's not gonna be in your heart. So that's, I kind of believe that's why Jesus, you know, he he summed it up, summed up the law, and that in that because if, if you able to love the Lord God, all these rest of things, you know, first it dealt with him in this. In this twenty chapter, most of them, I say the first, first five verses, and you know it talked about God. And the rest of them, well, let's see, let's see, six. Well, I say nine verses. God was telling you how to deal with Him, and uh, the rest of it, you know, it kind of dealing with you know your your fellow man. You know, you, you don't don't. Don't thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. All these things, you know, if you love yourself, you won't want nobody doing that behind your back. You don't want nobody just to haul off and, you know, doing some stuff on the side with your wife. <laughs> In other words. So uh things like that, you know, uh but if you can't practice that, if you're not practicing that, you should know that anyway, you know, just because Christ did what he did. You know, uh, you feel that you're going to get forgiven if you slip up. That's a bad way 
to be thinking, you know, uh, that's really bad the way, but, uh, but thank, thank God for Jesus, you know, he died. After he died, he sent back that promise, that comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. If you read St. Uh, St. John, let's see, yeah, St. Let me make sure. <laughs> I think it's St. John 14 and 26. Didn't know I was going to say that scripture. But that, that's something I didn't write down, but it's in me. Yeah, St. John 14 and 26. The confidence of which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So uh, Jesus, you know, like I said, under that new covenant, once he came on the scene, he made things better, you know, so he live in you. So, so the law, he fulfilled the law. So if, if you practice and do what Jesus did, you know, you're going to fulfill the law. You know, if you do things and observe what Christ did, the law is fulfilled. You, you don't, you shouldn't be now if you're in Christ and you believe, you know, the law, you know, that rem, I, I would say remedial <laughs> in the natural, that's what, what I get. That remedial stuff, you should be past that, you know. You should be past not putting God first. You should be past, you know, it should be easy. You know, to keep God first, everything you get up in the morning, you should think about how I can please the Lord. I'm praying, pray to the Lord, you know. And when you get out of there and around more people, you treating people right, it, it ought to be easy, you know. You know, it, it, it should be easy, you know, to love your neighbor, you know. But if you're not doing it, you know, uh, you may need a new or do some remedial stuff. <laughs> Go back to that remedial stuff. You know, uh, that's why I look at the law as, you know, uh, remedial. <laughs> you need to check into it. You need to check yourself. But uh, but thanks be to God, you know, uh, since we own grace now in faith, you know, we whatever thing we struggling with, you know, we pray about that thing and, have faith, you know, we, the just still live by faith, you know, uh, we can make it, you know, uh, but, uh, that's what I had this morning. I hope, I hope I, I hope I kind of got, got what I was trying to say out, but, uh, the law is holy, you know, but it, it it's, it can't, it's not, we on grace and truth now. We no longer under the law or the, the punishment that we could get. Cause the punishment back in the back in that time, you know, it really, you you step out, you know, it's you just get wiped out most of that stuff. So, uh, but thank be to God, you know, uh, thank you Jesus for what He did. Cause uh, in the flesh, the law whooped us all day, but you know, we have faith in Christ, we can make it. Uh, I'll probably end it there, but uh, you ain't in that remedial, remedial stuff no more. Loving, loving God and your neighbor, it shouldn't be something you gotta still be practicing. It ought to be easy, you know. You ought to be advanced on over into your the core stuff, the core classes, or the things, the big stuff to get you into to get you get your salvation. Put it that way. To seeing him one day. Y'all to be past that. So uh anyway, I hope y'all got some out of this. I may do try to do something else with this. Uh, but anyway, that's what I had today. And uh like I said, I hope whenever I do a video, I hope I don't stumble too much or uh, uh I hope hope to give you the the best I can give you uh in this we all learn. It's a daily walk. Uh, that's why we ask the Father for our daily bread every day. Uh, but anyway, y'all be safe. I'll see y'all next go round.